What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're going to check out wrestlers who mind control their opponents by none other than Tap Out Corner. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. Um, When I was a kid watching wrestling, the supernatural stuff that would happen with The Undertaker or maybe the, the, the creepy aesthetics of the, the brood, the, the all vampire group. It worked in that sense because a lot of people believe wrestling was real and it was just a different time period back then. Now that we know that wrestling is predetermined situational storylines, the supernatural stuff don't really work. Sometimes they're able to pull it off in a semi-believable way, like pulling off like a, a crazed character. For example, <clears throat> The Fiend. The Fiend worked because we knew it was Bray Wyatt. He had this Mr. Rogers persona on the outside, but on the inside, there was something much more sinister. And you can work with that because he had a mask. You knew it was Bray, but he was different. Granted, the supernatural aspects, you know, it, it fit his character, but you could somewhat buy into it because it was so unique so creative it was like all right we can buy into this just a little bit when they introduce alexa bliss into this whole firefly funhouse thing and then she started getting powers and then started mind controlling people that's when it was like okay this is not what it originally was supposed to be and now it's gotten hokey now it's gotten cringe that's that's what you get sometimes in WWE, and you just be like, no, this doesn't work <laughs> in the 2000s. This doesn't work in the modern era of mind controlling your opponent. It just, it does not work like that. It, it, it comes off so, so unbelievably cringe. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all our, our love and support, man. Uh, this should be a good one. WWE wrestlers can do just about everything, including controlling their opponents' minds. On an episode of SmackDown, Santino Morella and Heath Slater went one-on-one, -on -one, but each man had backup in their corner. Santino was accompanied by the great Colleen Hornswoggle, while Heath had Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal. Morella and Slater were having a pretty normal match, until Jinder suddenly got on the edge of the ring and began playing a flute. The musical instrument allowed Mahal to take control of Santino's Cobra. Two could play at that game, so the great Kali decided to use his own flute to counter Jinder Mahal. Things went crazy, and at one point, it looked like Jinder Mahal was going to make the Cobra strike Santino. Luckily, Kali took control of the Cobra and allowed Santino Morella to win the match. There were quite a few... Oh my god. The amount of cringe I got from that first clip alone. Oh. I... Supernatural moments during the rivalry between the New Day and the Wyatt family. Mm -hmm. One bizarre moment happened live in front of the fans. The New Day had interrupted the Wyatts while Bray was speaking in the ring. Kofi Kingston and Big E were having a good time like normal, but Xavier Woods wasn't acting like himself. He started approaching Bray Wyatt, and it looked like Xavier Woods was in a trance. <laughs> Kofi and E snapped Xavier out of it, but it appeared that Bray Wyatt had mind controlled Xavier Woods. <laughs> After becoming a follower of The Fiend, Here we go. This is what I was talking about. Alexa Bliss was given a ton of supernatural powers, and she made full use of them. One of the best abilities she gained was mind control. While wrestling Nia Jax on Raw, <sighs> Nia's manservant, Reginald, ran into the ring to save Jax. Alexa locked eyes with Reginald and hypnotized him. Nia Jax got Bliss out of the ring before Alexa could do anything else, but Little Miss Bliss wasn't finished yet. The next week, Alexa Bliss teamed up with her former friend, Friend, Nikki oh ASH, my God. take on Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, with the winners qualifying for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. During the fight, Nia was on the outside talking to Reginald when all of a sudden... <sighs> she mind control, bro. I believe she used mind control powers to beat Shayna Baszler. This is when it's just... This... It's just no... It just... It takes me out of it. That's all I'm saying. It just, it takes, I, it, I want wrestling to be, have its fun, quirky moments. That's what makes wrestling what it is. But this stuff, it just, you just sit there and be like, what the fuck am I watching? 
And this was one of those moments, bro. Alexa to control Reggie. Look at this! To slap Nia Jax. Reginald caught himself before he hit Nia, but Nikki A.S.H. and Alexa Bliss still won the match and qualified for Money in the Bank. Speaking of which, Bliss would use her mind-controlling powers there as well. Partway through the ladder match, Zelina Vega and Alexa that. Bliss found themselves on top of a ladder. Suddenly, Zelina was under Alexa's control and started <laughs> climbing down the ladder. Before Alexa oh my grabbed God. The Someone approved that, bro. Vince approved that. He approved all of that. Oh, my God. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if this was like the Attitude Era back then when people, a lot of people believe wrestling was real, you didn't have social media, didn't have internet like that, this would have worked. This, ex this probably would have worked a little bit more. Than it does now. That this just makes me cringe so bad. I be like, I, I sometimes feel ashamed to be a wrestling fan when I see cringe like that, bro. It just be, oh my god. The briefcase. <laughs> Natalia took her out, which snapped Selena out of Bliss's control. Unfortunately for Alexa, she would lose the match. On TNA Impact in 2011, oh, Winner boy. was trying to break up Angelina Love and Velvet Sky. When that wasn't working, Winner decided to possess Angelina Love's mind. Fans began to notice that Angelina Love was in a trance, and this became clear during a tag team match with Velvet Sky. As the match went on, Winter suddenly appeared on the stage. She used her control of Angelina Love to make Love attack her own tag team oh, partner, which caused them to lose the match. The next week, Velvet Sky would confront her friend in the ring. Sky would try to snap Angelina Love out of it, but that only caused Love to attack her. Angelina Love's assault ended with a DDT onto a steel chair. Winter then appeared and seemed to be delighted with what she had done to Angelina Love and Velvet Sky. Randy Orton once came face to face with himself. To see oh yeah! Happened, watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that whole Randy Orton going against the Undertaker and the supernatural aspects of that. Bro, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just some of these things I just, I want to just have fun with it. I just want to be like, oh, we're just having a great old time. And that's cool. But some it's like some of the stuff just takes you out of it so bad to the point where you're like yeah this is just cringe this is just cringe beyond cringe and this is one of those situations like i'm all for wrestlers having some weirdness to them or maybe something mysterious about them i'm okay with that but when you start doing the whole supernatural aspect of it or to the point where it gets like really out of control then it's like I right, you take me out of it i mean you can always say the same thing with the undertaker and i think the undertaker works because of his character and even in the later years he really kind of dropped that he, he dialed back on the supernatural aspect of it for the most part yeah he would have you know the lights turn out and he would just appear and the, the lightning and all this other stuff and I, and I get that but I think that works into his character his demeanor he wasn't doing as many of the supernatural stuff in the later years of his career granted he used to in the earlier years in his career and you know in the wrestling career when that when that time period kind of made sense to do it but once he got on Instagram he had made his Instagram and stuff like that it, it kind of it takes you out of it it's like you can see the theatrics of it so i'm not opposed to seeing some cool characters have some you know maybe some cool vignettes little 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 like mysterious supernatural inspired vignettes and stuff like that but when you start mind controlling your opponents that's when i gotta be like okay all right my suspension of disbelief really got to go out the window now because now we're getting into the, the 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 fantasy elements of wrestling. It's like the mind control. I, I, that's where I probably check out at, man. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys enjoy the supernatural aspect of wrestling? Like, do you guys 
Are you guys okay with seeing your opponents get mind controlled? Or do you guys prefer a little bit more, uh, well, you prefer your wrestling to be more grounded in reality? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support on this channel. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.